What's going on guys? Vic BP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're going to be looking at my updated 40 terabyte Hyperspin Drive 2022 edition. It's been a while. <laughs> All right, guys, making this video to basically bring back, or I should say update, basically all the upgrades I've done to my personal Hyperspin build. Uh, I've, many people have sent me emails. Many people have seen my original 2020 Hyperspin video. I'll put a link down below. You'll see the whole video, the whole rant on it. Basically, everything is still kind of the same. Um, basic kind of upgrades right now for my drives personally is really the switch side the pc game side sega ring edge and the tato type x stuff everything else is basically been the same now i've been trying to think about how i want to shoot this video and all that and i know i'm gonna have some new people i'm gonna have some returning people looking at these videos so i think real quick the first best way to start this so i don't lose anybody's interest is let's just take a look at the systems i have and we'll just look at hyperspin itself all right, so now real quick, the easiest way to honestly see visually Hyperspin stuff is to launch it in Rocket Launcher. So as you can see right here, you have 91 systems. Again, for me personally, this is up to date. Today's date is like what, May, uh, May 17, 2022, okay? Um, I was really gonna name this 2023 edition because as you can see, it took a while, but all in all, if you are looking at this video, whether it's now in May 2022 or into the future, just keep in mind that I do constantly download many PC games. I'm trying to keep up with the Sega Ring Edge stuff and all that. So don't take this video as like, oh, this is all I did. No, I usually weekly, daily PC games and all that, I do download a lot. So just keep that in mind. Again, looking at Rocket Launcher, this is the best way to check, take a look at the system itself. There's 91 systems. Uh, I, I could fit, I, I'll say it real quick. We got American Laser Games, Arcade Schmups is a category within MAME. Let's just go down the list and then I'll explain everything else. Atari 2600, 5200, 7800, the Jaguar, Big Fish Games. These Capcoms are MAME categories. I did add Casino. Uh, Clone Hero is new. That's basically Guitar Hero. Daphne, DOS Box. Driving Games is a category for MAME. Fightcade, Vectrex, Homebrew Mame, Hyper Search is basically your search function, Ice Cold Games, which is like Ice Cold Beer, Magazines, Mame, I have three categories, I'll discuss that too. MS DOS is also DOS Boss, but more games to it. Xbox 360, Mugen, PC Engine, Turbo Graphics, 3DS, eShop, eShop Import, Import, N64, N64 Japan. The DS, the NES, Famicom, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Cube, Game Cube Asia, Pokemon Mini, Super Famicom, Game Boy, Super Game Boy, I should say, the Switch, Switchware, Virtual Boy, the Wii, Wii Gun Games, Wii U, Wii U Wear, Wii Wear, Open Bore, PC Games, I have separate categories now, PC Arcade, PC Games, PC Racing, Pinball, I removed uh, Visual Pinball and Future Pinball, we'll go into it. So I do have Pinball FX3, FX2, Pinball Arcade, PopCap, Sammy Thomas Wave, Scum VM, Sega, 32X, CD, Dreamcast, Game Gear, Genesis, Master System, Mega Drive, Model 2, Model 3, Naomi, Ring Edge, Shotgun Games is my gun game wheel. I'm going to go into that too. It's all guns. Uh, SNK Neo Geo is a category for MAME. Neo Geo Pocket Color. PlayStation 1, 2, PlayStation 2 Asia, PlayStation 3, PS3 Wear, which is basically the eShop uh, store, eStore, uh, PlayStation Minis, the PSP, Super NES, Tato Type X, Tripod Games, again, another category for MAME, Xbox Live Arcade, and Zachariah Pinball. I probably shouldn't have just said them all, but there you guys have it, just for you guys. I said it all of them. So now real quick, just to keep the flow going for the people that are here, let's just launch Hyperspin this way you can kind of see it. Again, everything that's inside of Rocket Launcher that I just said is within Hyperspin, as you can see. All the games, you, and again, I'm going to go back and forth with it. All the games, all the systems, I should say, on the main screen have all the media, the videos, the themes, and all that. This is really what Hyperspin 
looks like when you start off and such. So again, basic stuff, hyperspin and all that. I do get this email a lot. People do ask me, hey, Vic, are you going to ever launch, move to LaunchBox? And in all honesty, I have zero plans to move into LaunchBox. I'll go into details later on in this video on, you know, my experience with LaunchBox. But again, for right now, let's just kind of focus on the main. So in Hyperspin, um, you're able to basically set the order um, exactly where it is. So I basically have in the beginning kind of like all the arcade stuff. So as you can see, like I have MAME, I have Fightcade, uh, my gun stuff, trackball stuff, the Naomi Model 2, Ring Edge, Tato. Again, as you can see right now, I just hit the categories. Mugen, Open War, I'm going to make a comment on that later on. And then it kind of goes into like the consoles, we should say. So DOS box, casino, pinball stuff. I did keep the pinballs in, in line. Then you'll get into the actual consoles like the NES. So I have all the Nintendos kind of like oldest to most recent. As you can see, N64, the GameCube. Game Boys are the handhelds now. I have a whole handheld section. So again, within Hyperspin, if you want a certain way that it's listed and ordered, you could just let me know and I could make that happen. PlayStation 1, 2, 3, the PSPs, it's all here. I kind of did like in this, in this area, like all Sonys are lined up there okay pretty cool and then this is again is a new th the three new things for pc stuff again i'm gonna go in depth and such i just want to make sure that you guys saw actual hyperspin so you're looking at 91 systems and i'm clocked in at just under 45,000 games now my original video that i have linked down below you could actually see me i basically you know you could basically come to a uh, uh, a system here and then just kind of run games and it'll tell you the list and it'll tell you how many games I have out of that to make life easy and this is another thing I do get a lot on the emails is I do have a website game case arcades it's down in the description below and on that website I do have this section here we could build your own drive and it tells you exactly what I have as according to the system how many games and how much hard drive space that takes up so Again, I believe I'm the only person that has this option where you can build your own drive. And I'm going to go very in-depth, so don't be quick on the trigger. I have to kind of explain what I mean by build your own drive and stuff. But if you are looking at how many games a certain system has, you could basically go into my Excel sheet here and check it out. So if you're looking at the Super NES, there's 786 out of 806. And if you look to the right a little bit, it tells you exactly what I'm missing. So this one, I'm missing the Europe ROMs for the SNES. Another thing also, if you do see systems that you want and you don't see it here, I do have it. I do have all of them. If you go down uh, on the site itself, there is a entire game list and systems list. It will open up a G drive. And you could see there, this is all the database files that I have. So technically, yes, I do have all the systems. The big thing I do stress, and like I did in my original video, is I do not have the BS filler systems. Now, again, compared to two years ago when that video went out, I did get some backlash. Oh, some of those systems I want. I understand what you want. You can let me know. But me personally, I do not want Apple II I do not want uh, Bandai Pippin. I don't want the Bally Astrocade. Th th those systems to me, are, th I, I have zero interest in them. That was my big rant, was basically that there's people selling drives and they claim, oh, it's eight terabytes, 16 terabytes. Meanwhile, the first 10 terabytes is all BS crap that you will not play. And a lot of people don't like that I say BS crap. There are games and systems that I won't play. That's me personally. You're different. That's fine. But just keep in mind that when sellers are selling you drives, you might want to ask them for a full list. And I guarantee you, they're all going to have some kind of crazy system that you probably never even heard of. Again, I'm right now 32 years old. There's consoles that I haven't heard of, but people do message me and go, oh, you know, it's before the 90s. You would have known. Okay, fine, but you let me know if you want that inside of an arcade cabinet, so enjoy that. Again, my big thing about this video is just to give you information uh, and also discuss what I have to offer. So now that I mentioned that, let me explain myself. Let me explain what I do personally. So my name is Vic VP, Victor. 
Um, if you guys find this YouTube channel, you, which you most likely will, take a look at my channel. You'll see all my previous builds. I build arcades. I built custom arcades, virtual pinball machines, and I created something called the Ultimate Console. The Ultimate Console basically is a PC-based system that could play all of these systems that I just said. Very easy. As you can see, some of the systems that I said, you may or may not want them in an actual arcade cabinet. For example, PS2, GameCube, people want those systems on their arcade cabinet but in reality you cannot play these systems with arcade sticks i can't stress that enough you cannot you you can technically you can you can but you will not enjoy it so just give you a heads up again some people look at it oh 40 terabytes i could put it in an arcade cabinet i could play ps3 with arcade sticks Technically, you can play them, but it will be an awful experience. It is god-awful. Same thing, honestly, goes for the classic systems, such as NES, the Super NES. Me, personally, I want to play those with a controller. I don't really play those with arcade sticks. I play my main stuff, like MAME Arcade, my Sega Ring Edge stuff, and Tato Type X that are meant to be played for arcades. I play those on my personal arcade cabinet. Yes, my personal arcade cabinet does have a 40 terabyte system in it, but I do also stream, so I do take it from the arcade cabinet and then I bring it to my streaming desk here. So I have a multi-functioning kind of computer if you think of it like that. So now again, personally, I could build you anything you want. As you can see, I do have an option where you could build your own drive. Again, I'm gonna go into that to explain exactly what I mean by build your own drive. But let me tell you real quick what I right now am showing you what I'm streaming on right now. I have somebody that sent me their PC and they said, Vic, I want an ultimate console. What does that mean? He sent me his PC and I'm doing the work for it. I have basically two options when it comes to this ultimate console. I could either build you a PC, meaning I will get all the parts and such. There is a price for that. Or you could tell me your existing PC. You might have a good PC right now and say, hey, Vic, I want to now add all these terabytes to my current PC. Just please note and understand something that separates me from other people. I am the type of person that I like to physically get your stuff. I, I, this customer sent me his PC. It is right now on the floor. It's right there. Let me actually zoom in on this. Hold on. That is this customer's PC right here. This customer right now has four 12 terabyte hard drives. When he sent me this PC, it had one one terabyte hard drive. That now has four 12 terabyte hard drives. So I personally am the type where I don't believe in these drives. eBay sellers will sell you these drives and you know it's plug and play and it's never plug and play. I've done this for almost eight years now. It is never plug and play. Even me personally doing builds, it is never plug and play. People look at my videos and they go, oh, you just copy and paste. Why do you charge a lot? Mm. No, this customer right now sent me his PC and I put in his PC this. What you guys see on the screen there is in his PC right now. And I personally test each and every emulator. What does that mean? I tested each 91 systems. Yes, MAME Arcade has 10 categories, so it's really 81. No, each thing needs to be tested. That is what I do. That is me personally. I have to test. That's just me. That's why people contact me and go, Vic, I like your style because you're a B no BS type of person. I appreciate people recognizing it, but I am the type of person that I just got to test it. No matter what, I have to test each system. I'll tell you what the most common thing I have to always redo uh, when I basically do these builds, but I am the type of person where I want your stuff in my hands. I will fix it and send it out to you. This customer right now is gonna get this in the mail and it will officially be known as a simple plug and play. I will guarantee this customer is gonna get this PC, he's gonna plug it in, he's gonna turn it on, he's gonna start Hyperspin, he's gonna use his Xbox controller and it's gonna work. Each emulator is gonna work. That's what I will guarantee on that. Now again, if you look at the original video, I went on this whole rant about, you know, sellers and eBay sellers selling you 16 terabytes and it's, oh, it's plug and play. But 
you you just got to understand that it's never plug and play. I don't care who is selling what. It is never plug and play. I even offer an option on my my page where basically you send me request forms. That's the best way to do it. There's a request form thing. I'll show you my website. I even offer an option for me to team viewer in on your existing build that I didn't make and I will help fix it. I get that so many times. People go, hey Vic, I bought from this seller. He goes to me now. Nothing launches. Can you help me out? Yes, I can. I charge by the hour, but I can help you out. Yes. Yeah. So I have a lot of options and variety. That's what's great about me. I am a one man show. I am proud to say that. So if you ever need anything, you could always message me on the website, on Instagram at Vic underscore VP. I can't trust it enough. I'm always on that and I'm quick on the messenger. So now real quick, I want to just make something clear as far as what you could see on my website. Cause you do see the word build your own drive. Again, I can't stress enough. I do not do drives. I do not do them. What this basically means is if you're looking to build or buy an arcade cabinet for me or an ultimate console, the build your own drive is basically you're going to build your, your drive. You're going to tell me what systems you want. That's what that means. Please, I, I, it's okay. You could send me an email, but I do have people that email me and go, Hey, I'm looking for these systems. Can you put them on a hard drive and have them accessible via external hard drive? I want to just plug it in my computer and play. No, there's no such thing as that. It, no, it's not that easy. I wish it was. It is unfortunately not that easy. So I do not do drives. I can't stress it enough. I do not do them. It's, this right here, where you see these 91 systems, you're looking at around, no joke, a month worth of work. I am no BSing it. It is a month work, worth of work. Customers send me this PC. I started working on it. He then actually went later on and sent me dual aim tracks. And I said, dude, I'll do it. That's perfectly fine. But if it's okay, I'm going to now try to build a gun game basically a gun wheel, all the light gun games. And he goes, Vic, awesome, do it for my build. That's really why I'm also doing this to show off the, all the updates and all that. So basically when it comes to this whole thing on my page about build your own drive, it's really when you're trying to reach out to me and say you want either an arcade cabinet built or you're looking for an ultimate console to be built. Uh, again, I do also get this a lot and I, I, I get annoyed because I have like five customers that message me the same thing and they don't understand it. You can't email me and say, Hey Vic, how much is a 16 terabyte system? That doesn't mean anything to me. If you, it does not to be mean, it just, that means nothing to me at all. I have one guy that's like, just give me 16 terabytes worth of games. I, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. I have no idea. What do you want? Do you want like, for example, PS3, the PS3 alone is eight terabytes. So if I give you PS3 and 360, that equals 16 gigs. Are you uh, 16 terabytes? Are you going to be upset because I didn't include MAME? I don't do that. You just have to go to the Excel sheet and tell me the systems. Another thing also to keep in mind, like I said in my last video, depending on the emulators you want to run, you do need good PC hardware. I can't stress it enough. I personally don't do Dell Optiplex builds. I don't do them because it's old technology. I would rather use current gen stuff. This PC right now is running an i5 2080, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte M.2 SSD, and then four 12 terabyte drives. I haven't done a Dell Optiplex with this kind of stuff. I could do a Dell Optiplex with like retro consoles, but once you're going past like N64 or even PS2, you need current gen stuff. Right now, you know, the biggest thing right now is like you could do a 1660 Super. I personally am not a fan of them. I would rather go up to the 2000 series. For example, this customer has a 2080. My personal ultimate console has a 2070 in it. I have somebody sending me one that's going to have a 3070 in it. I like those numbers. That's the biggest thing. When it comes to PC hardware, I personally suggest an i7, 16 gigs of RAM, and right now, it's usually a 3060 or higher. That's what I personally suggest. This customer sent me a 2080 and honestly, it plays amazing. It's beautiful. Vic, but you said 3060. You know what I'm saying? Right now, current gen stuff, the current gen is 3060, but his 2080, 
plays perfectly. It could do 4K. He requested 1080p though, so all this is set to 1080p. And that's great, awesome. Like I said, I could either build you the PC or you could send me your current PC. It's perfectly fine. You're just gonna send me your specs. I have yet to do a Ryzen build. I'm down to try it, but I can't guarantee anything. I'm an Intel kind of guy, so i7 is what I normally suggest, especially the processing power. This computer is running an i5, and honestly, it's, it's working. Again, i5-2080 on this customer's PC. So another advantage when you're using current gen hardware is that you are able to play current gen games, you know, PC games such as, you know, Warzone is, is the biggest game right now, Fortnite, Apex Legends. Again, there's so many advantages when you're using current gen hardware. Honestly, a lot of the clientele that I get, a lot of people that email me that request these con the ultimate console, they are streamers. They're the type of people that want to stream retro gaming and also play current gen stuff. And they could stream on this PC. That is what's so great about using current gen hardware. That's why I personally always suggest I, I go all out. i7, 16 gigs of RAM, and like I said a thousand times, 3060 or better. This right now is basically a multi-functioning PC. Whether you want to play current gen stuff, you want to play some retro gaming, you want to stream and game, these PCs could handle it. I now put OBS on all the PCs and you set it up on your end and go. So again, another advantage to current gen hardware. This PC, for example, so as you can see on this PC, I do have Origin, which is Apex. I do have Epic Games, which is Fortnite. And we do have Battle.net. I do already have Warzone installed on this PC. So again, it's, it's basically future-proofed. I'm personally the type of person that I always suggest gaming, just like how streamers do it, just like how I personally do it. I have a dedicated gaming PC, and then I have a dedicated work PC. Same thing with emulation. I always suggest do not mix emulation and downloading games with your personal work computers because you never know what happens. Again, the ultimate console, that's what's just so great. This is just a gaming behemoth. It's, it's insane. So now real quick, let me explain exactly like what I've done and what I've upgraded and how my system works. Again, some people ask me, hey Vic, are you ever gonna do Launchbox? For me, Hyperspin works. I have no issue with Hyperspin. I'm the type of person that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I have tried Launchbox. Yes, I have. And this was about, I would say, eight months ago. I tried doing Launchbox. And I said, you know what? I have the ROMs already. Like, it should be easy, right? The first system I did was the Atari 2600 because it's an alphabetical order. I went, I put Atari 2600 in Launchbox. And something as simple as a one button escape key to exit the emulator didn't work. I was on it for like 30 minutes and I was like, this is, this is ridiculous. And I, I just gave up on Launchbox. So again, for me, I still do use Hyperspin. I'm a fan of Hyperspin. I know Hyperspin. I have no issues with Hyperspin. It's not broken. I ain't going to fix it. Again, if you do request Launchbox, I could do it, but it's going to take time. I'm going to tell you that right now. I do have somebody right now that wants Launchbox. A lot of people that want Launchbox and Launchbox is fine. A lot of people that want Launchbox, they read the forums and like, oh, it's very active. So my response to you if you want Launchbox is, listen, if you want, I'll send you everything and then you set up Launchbox. If you think it's that easy, go ahead. So if you're down for that, I'm down for that too. But again, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but you do have that option as well. Okay. Now, as far as the stuff that's getting updated now, because again, with Hyperspin, I have PS2 working, I have PS3 working, I have the 360 working. That's all like set. All to me right now, and I'm calling it, all the consoles, I'm done. It's set. I'm, I'm up to date. I'm set. I did laugh because somebody uh, is advertising like, oh, PS5 emulation and PS4 emulation. I'm like, no, there's no such thing. And I laughed because like the person that did like the PS5, was like, oh, it has God of War. I'm like, yeah, because God of War is a PC port now. So seller is trying to advertise PS4 emulation and PS5 emulation. Meanwhile, it's PC games. So again, not many people know it, not many people know it or see it, I should say, and I saw it a mile away. 
what I'm trying to get at basically is that for me personally, all the consoles to me, I'm, I'm set and done. PS2 is done, PS3 is done, 360 is done. I'm going to go into that PS3 and 360 stuff because of the emulation up. But consoles are done. The Wii, the Wii U, done. My biggest thing right now, the only console really is the Switch. And in all brutal honesty, I'm the type of person where I would, if you could see in my channel, I do have the ultimate handheld. You're probably better off getting that modded than dealing with Yuzu emulation because it's not flawless. I have a modded Switch in my modded Switch arcade cabinet that I built for it. Awesome stuff. You can see videos on it. I rather play the Switch on the Switch. Like, fine. The only thing like I said right now updating on my end is the Switch, the PC games, and Techno Parrot. That's it. If you take away the Switch, I have no consoles. I'm basically doing the PC games and Techno Parrot. That's, that's it. So adding PC games is very easy to add into Hyperspin. I can make a video on it. It's very easy. It's not that difficult. Even same thing with the Switch. If I had to add a, uh, if I had to add a Switch game, I just edit the database and call it. In my mind right now, I am completely done and set. At this day and age, what I'm understanding and how I'm seeing the gaming world, whatever game is on the PlayStation or the Xbox, it's been ported to the PC. So to me now, basically, I just keep my eyes open on new PC games. That's facts. That, that right there was me spitting facts. So right now, the only thing that I literally sit down every day or every other day, weekly, I'm going to sit down and I see what PC games come out and if there's any new techno powered stuff. The Switch stuff, again, I have it on the modded cabinet. Take a look at a mod Switch. It's honestly amazing. That's all I can really say without that company, the end company coming after me. So now that we're talking about the PC side of it, let me show you real quick what I did. This is the biggest thing. Uh, I originally had just one wheel, which was PC games. And I didn't really, I should have thought of it, but I didn't really anticipate how many PC games I have. I basically now had to take it and separate it into three separate categories. You see PC shooter, that's not a category uh, in Hyperspin. I'll explain what that is. But I basically have three categories for the PC. I have PC Arcade. PC Arcade is basically 95% of the games can be played with arcade sticks. Battletoads, for example, uh, Cuphead, those games you can play with the arcade stick. So that's why I have it under a category called PC Arcade. The other also part of it is multiplayer. So it's PC Arcade, so it works with arcade sticks, and it's multiplayer games. So for example, a PC game that came out that's really crazy for multiplayer is It Takes Two. You cannot play that with arcade sticks, but it is a multiplayer game, so I put it under PC Arcade. PC games is basically all your PC hits that will not work with an arcade stick. Like, for example, and again on my Excel sheet, you could see it. I, I even have the, the list there. But new PC games, for example, 2K22, Elden Ring, God of War, the GTA Definitive Edition stuff. So again, PC games, it's your basic PC games that cannot work with arcade sticks then your last one is pc racing so all the racing games as you can see i have 33 racing games including uh, i have to update this i do have forza horizon 5 on this so again i kind of did it by popular demand i would say is that i do have separate pc categories so it's pretty cool it's much neater and it's much nicer so for example if you said to me hey vic i want an arcade only type of arcade build then I would only put the PC arcade games in it, unless you do want to add the terabytes to it. And as you can see, combined PC games alone, I'm almost I'm I'm at four terabytes. <laughs> so this it's right there. You can see it there. Every thousand is one terabyte. It's by gigs. So a thousand gigs is one terabyte. So yes, I have four terabytes alone in PC games. Just because we're on the subject, PC shooter. That is really my gun drive. That is my gun wheel. All the light gun games are in this. So I have 167 light gun games, including newer PC shooting games, such as the House of the Dead remake, Blue Estate, uh, Wild West Shootout, and all that. So 
that's where that PC shooter wheel comes in, and I do have it here. Total light gun games is 237. It's always there. On the Excel sheet, it's kind of cool. I have it nicely written out and such. 237 light gun games I have, including that is including 70 of the Wii gun games. I didn't put that inside the same wheel because some of the Wii gun games need a nunchuck. So I didn't want to add that, but you're looking at 237 light gun games. So it's pretty cool. Like I said, this customer sent me his aim tracks. They do need to be configured. I configured it to my TV, but when he gets this PC, he's going to have to basically just run the, the, uh, Ultimark. Um, where is it? He's got to run this, the aim track software to calibrate his guns. Once he does that, everything else really is set. So he doesn't have to worry about anything. We're on the subject with PC stuff. Let's keep going. I want to talk about real quick, Tato Type X and the Sega Ring Edge. Okay. This is some confusion. I have, again, everybody builds this separately and differently. I'll explain to you exactly what I do. Sega Ring Edge is Techno Parrot. It's the biggest thing. It's the most current thing as far as arcade emulation. So current arcade games that you can find in Dave and Buster's, for example, like the Batman game and such uses Techno Parrot. Okay. The way I have this wheel set up is Sega Ring Edge needs Techno Parrot to launch. It needs an emulator to launch. Tato Type X are arcade games, but does not need an emulator to launch. Basically, it's a standalone launcher. What are you saying, Vic? What I'm trying to say is that basically some games that are in Tato Type X are also known to be Techno Parrot games. So, for example, I do have Disney Pixar Cars. That is a Techno Parrot game, but they released it where you don't need an emulator. And then I moved it into Tato Type X. So again, you will find, if you don't find the game on my Techno Pirate Sega Ring Edge category, take a look at my Tato Type X category. It may be there. So for example, another one is um, Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero Arcade originally needed Techno Parrot. Now it doesn't. Same thing before with Tekken. Tekken 7, the arcade version, needed Techno Parrot. Now it doesn't. So again, a lot, just, just some basic stuff so people don't really understand. So some people go, hey, Vic, I just want an arcade build. What is Tato Type X? I don't know what that's arcade. Yes, that's arcade stuff. So for example, you're going to find Street Fighter V Type Arcade. That is an arc that's meant to take coins, basically. I basically have this wheel set up as if it's an all arcade stuff. And again, it does not rely on techno power. So now real quick, the one thing I do want to touch up and show you real quick, because I do have dedicated shooter cabinets now, as you can see in my videos, I now have in Hyperspin a dedicated shooter wheel. It is under shotgun games, but on Hyperspin, you do just see it as gun games. Uh, again, doing Hyperspin for so long, I've just come across and I've learned basically multi-launch, multi-emulator launch on one wheel. So it's really cool with this specific gun game wheel is I have gun games from MAME, Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3. Um, I even have the NES, the Super NES, um, uh, Sega Genesis, and current PC games such as the House of the Dead remake and all that in this one wheel. I originally never knew like how this multi-launch multi emulator stuff worked but now i figured it out so i do have like the house of the dead original that's from the model 2 down to like you know the current pc game that just got released which was the house of the dead remake so basically in this one wheel is your gun games like i said before it's 167 arcade gun games or current pc games again i'm gonna say it again but the House of Dead remake and even like Blue Estate, for example, they are shooting games, but they're not arcade games, meaning they don't put quarters in. It's just a shooting game. I even have Intake, which is kind of like a music style of shooting. You shoot the pills and all that. It's really cool. And again, separate is the Wii gun games. That's just separate. So it's, it's really awesome. When you look it up in Hyperspin, and again, if you are going to get a dedicated shooter cabinet from me, I basically would just put the gun game wheel on it so again if you enter into it it is all there it's all multi-emulator 
I even tried to get all the artwork, theming, and video for it. So, again, ranging from Mame Arcade to even, like, for example, the Wild West shootout that is a current-gen PC game that's actually a, a money game, it's actually an actual arcade game and all that. So, basically, just, you know, minor stuff that I have to get videos for, but... That is honestly the, the most recent thing, and this customer is the only one right now to get the exclusive hyperspin shooter wheel on it. So pretty cool stuff. Now, the one thing I wanted to mention, because in the early in the video I mentioned about Mugen and OpenBoar, those are the only two emulators for me personally, and I'm still doing research on it. These are the, the two emulators that I personally don't set up with the controls. It's like every single game needs to be configured, and I'm trying to figure out how to avoid that. Um, I tried Joyd's Key. It's just every game has different button inputs. So just keep that in mind with me. Mugen and OpenBoar is not configured at all to any controller or arcade stick. You're just going to have to do that on your own. It's just too much of a tedious task. It's kind of annoying. So I, I honestly, I don't deal with that. Just to touch up on real quick why I've removed virtual visual pinball and future pinball. Uh, basically, people were getting confused that it was my pinup pinball drive or system. And I'm like, no, not to mention also it's just desktop mode for those on future pinball and, and visual pinball. It's just not fun. Uh, not really many people even tell me feedback, meaning like, hey, Vic, I love it. I play it. I feel like nobody plays a desktop mode for you to really enjoy pinball. You should get a pinball machine minus what I already have on this drive, which is again, FX2, FX3. Those are pretty cool. Like those are fun because you could change the camera angles and all that. Whereas Visual Pinball X and Future Pinball can't really change camera angles. Those really are the only advantages if you actually have your screen vertical and looking like a real pinball machine. Real quick, jumping into now the PS3 and 360. I said it two years ago emulation for this is still in the works is it worth it vic is it worth me getting almost 16 terabytes we have look 6500 gigs so that's 6.5 terabytes for the 360 uh, and the ps3 is almost nine terabytes vic is it worth it it's a yes and no for me. Uh, most people that message me go, Vic, I, I have the ROMs. That's, that's me. On my personal system, I have the ROMs. Does it work? Majority of the games do work. I'm not going to say all of them. Oh, Vic, does this game work? You have to go into the compatibility list. I made a video on it in my original thing. You'll see a whole thing about Xbox 360. You have to go into the compatibility list and see if that game is actually working. So I'm going to do it real quick with you guys. So Xenia is the um, Xena, Xenia. I'm a saltwater, you know, Aquarius. So I read it as Xenia. Uh, Xenia is the emulator and you could basically go to game compatibility and it'll tell you if the game is playable or not. You could search by the game and all that. I did a whole video on this on this already. So as you can see, like, Green means it's playable. So Boogie Bunnies is good to go. But this game, for example, crashes. This game is silent. There's shader errors on this one. Kind of like this boogery green is basically it's working, but it's not working and such. Uh, the other one is uh, RC PS3 compatibility. Again, it's got its own separate list. It'll tell you how many games are playable. So as you can see here, 67% of the games are playable. There you have it. If you're the type though that wants a specific game, I suggest you go and search and see if it works. So unfortunately in this customer's uh, scenario, he asked me if NFL Blitz worked. Uh, so we'll go real quick, let's see. Uh, and do, 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 do. E NFL Blitz is playable, but he had a specific one that he wanted. Uh, I forgot. It was like NFL Blitz, some kind of addition. What's also kind of cool, though, in my situation, in this customer's situation, is if I go into the emulators tab and I launch the... This is just the PS3, I should say. If I launch the PS3, 
it actually will tell you in the emulator if the game is playable or not. So we're gonna let the emulator load up real quick, just so you guys know. My C drive is where my main hyperspin file is. That is running a one terabyte M.2 SSD. I always suggest SSD boot drives all the time. This way emulators will boot fast. Some emulators, for example, PS3, as you can see, it does take some time, but it's really just the PS3 and I think the Xenia 360 takes quite a second. You'll see my other past videos with me actually launching PS3 games and such. It's got to go through like compiling shaders and all that. So no matter how fast your system is, the emulator will still kind of lack a little bit, especially when you're kind of running a game and such. So we're here now. And as you can see here, it tells you playable. So we got, a, we got quite a few. There is quite a few there. I don't know how many there are, but there was, as you can see when I scroll up very quickly, there's a lot of green. Uh, if I look up NFL Blitz, oh, it is playable. Awesome. Cool. I think it was the 360 version. It was like a, I don't know the name of it. Anyway, there you guys have it. The PS3 emulator, as you can see, it's better to kind of launch the PS3 emulator in like this, how I'm doing it, because you can actually see if the game launches. You can't see this list, obviously, in Hyperspin. So you might want to maybe launch PS3 outside of Hyperspin just so you can at least see the compatibility that it runs. But all in all, there it is. Is it worth it? Yes and no. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I mean, compared to if I go here, I mean, it's a lot. You can just tell by the bar here, it's more than half the games are functioning. You know, a lot of people go, hey, Vic, does the God of War series run? Uh, God of War Assassination doesn't, and God of War 3 doesn't. So if you're the type that goes, I must have God of War 3, then no, it's not worth getting the PS3. Again, it's a toss-up. It's up to you. You could also see, though, you are, it's, you're talking almost 15 terabytes of games. So if, when you are looking at drives, you know, 15 terabytes... That's almost, you know, 400 bucks just in hard drives alone. So you got to ask yourself, is it worth it? I can't answer that. That is up to you to answer that. Uh, so now again, the only real small thing I did add was the casino stuff that I have on my touch screen. I do, I do build touch screen systems. And basically all these games are on my touch screen. So slot machines, casino stuff. It's a small file. It's, it's there. It's pretty cool. Fightcade is Fightcade. Shout out to B Kong. Uh, basically, he has a JSON file that you basically launch Fightcade. You have to make an account, and it basically will download the ROM whenever you actually want to play it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing is Clone Hero. Uh, Clone Hero is Guitar Hero. I have it as a standalone launch. Uh, it's awesome. It's Clone Hero. Clone Hero is Guitar Hero. It's got about sixteen hundred games. Uh, really, I aimed for all the Guitar Hero and Rock Band stuff. So pretty cool. That right there launches on its own, uh, meaning there's no wheel for it. It just launches into the emulator itself. So now this is one big kind of suggestion I always say to anybody that always messages me and goes, Hey Vic, I'm looking for an Ultimate Console or I'm looking for a Hyperspin, P, uh, a Hyperspin Arcade build. I do tell people jump on it now. Go now, even if you're watching this video, go now and make sure that you have an Epic Games account and a Battle.net account. Why, Vic? Why? Because, for example, Epic Games... Sorry, I stopped recording because I want to make sure I didn't kind of show the customer's email. But again, the biggest thing I suggest is that you should sign up their free accounts. Epic Games is the most common one that will launch free games. You know, every two to three weeks, they give you free games. The best free game that they did, but I've yet to see it happen again, was Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, I personally have that on my Epic Games. I the Grand Theft Auto V is on the drive, but Epic Games release, you're able to play online. So that's kind of a, a cool thing out of it, and they're free. I mean, I usually just sit here, and even though I'm never going to play this game, I'm still going to get it and put it. They're free, like you, you shouldn't complain about free. Now also on a side note, cause we're talking about this, keep in mind that the PC games that I have, you cannot play online. I'm pretty sure it's very obvious, but just so you know, 
You cannot play the PC games online. I can't stress that enough. Uh, real quick, we're just going to launch the Hyperspin. I should actually do it on, on Rocket Launcher. Um, but as you can see there, let me get rid of these uh, Epic Games notices. Cool. So as you can see, we have the PC arcade style and multiplayer, like I was saying before. Again, all these games, and I have it set up in the beginning of the list, they're all the fighters. All the fighters are here right in the beginning of the list. And then it goes into the other stuff. Before this goes out, I have to just kind of fix one or two kind of titles, but that's easy. Uh, and like I said, these are all arcade style games. Bro Force, for example, you could play with arcade sticks. Cobra Kai, Celeste, Centipede. Again, a ton of them. If I go into the regular PC games, these are all PC games. So you're going to see like Mafia. Again, GTA Definitive Editions are here. I kept also the regular edition. So yes, you do have two Vice Cities, but... If you are in the gaming world, we all know the Definitive Edition was kind of a flop. God of War, this is your PS5 emulation here. <laughs> but yes, it's all there. It's, it's awesome stuff. My PC stuff, I have no videos, no themes. It is strictly just the logo. My Hyperspin C drive alone is 418 gigs. That's how big... So that is emulators and media. So imagine if I added more and more, it'd almost be a terabyte. Uh, I'll show off real quick, like Clone Hero, for example. Again, I have Clone Hero set up as its own EXE. There's no wheel. As you can see, it just launched the actual game itself. I actually should not play this here because it's going to probably play music. And we don't really want the music to play. Okay, good. It's not going through on your end. That's good. Because we don't want that. <laughs> I don't want to get hit with copyright, <laughs> but Clone Hero, that, that's like another thing also that's launched on its own is the pinball stuff. So if I click on pinball FX3, it's just going to launch directly into FX3. There's no wheel for the pinball stuff. It just makes life so much easier that way. PC games, FX3 games like this, you have to exit in the game, in, this, in the actual program. So hitting escape doesn't exit out like other emulators do. You have to actually exit and it'll bring you back into the hyperspin wheel. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Cool stuff. Uh, real quick, I mean, the last thing I'll say because of my, my, it has to be updated. It's not current right now. But if you did want to see specific, specific, specific titles, these are the database files of my actual drive. Um, right now it's only showing me up to N. Um, there is a way to see all of it. I think it's just a fluke on my end. Honestly, guys, I'm surprised if this is going to be like a two night thing that I'm going to have to go back and forth on. But in all honesty, there you guys have it. That is my personal hyperspin drive. Again, if you have any questions, you could always message me on my website. There is a request form or you could hit me up on Instagram at Vic underscore VP and get some details. Again, I do have a lot of options. It's awesome. Uh, I'm always hitting 4K subscribers, which might not sound like a lot to some people, and who knows when you see this video, but thank you for everybody for subscribing and hanging out and all that. And again, I build arcades. I am VicVP Gamecase Arcades. If you have any questions at all, or if you're interested in a console, don't be shy to hit me up or send me an email. Any, anything, you can always ask me anything. I'm always down to help. I know I kind of, you know, talk a lot, but that is part of it. Uh, one regret I do have on my 2020 video is that I did say a lot of ma'am arcades. It's the biggest comment on it. So now, yes, I finally said, I don't know if you caught it, but yes, ma'am arcades. There it is. God, it's amazing what one word does. But there you guys have it. VigVP Game Case Arcades. Stay tuned. I do have a lot more videos coming up with this certain customer's build. It's definitely something that you want to see. You're going to see like the gun games and all that. It's, it's cool. It's all inside one wheel. It's pretty cool. So stay tuned. Again, VigVP, Game Case Arcades.